What is addiction and how to overcome it? As humans, we can be addicted to so many different things. Things like alcohol, caffeine, shopping, smoking cigarettes, cocaine, social media, marijuana, food, sex, heroin, sugar, and many more. All addiction falls in the same category. They all come about because of the same reason, an escape. An escape from the mental state that we have in a given moment. Because the mental state that we have in that moment carries a level of pain or discomfort with it. So to stop that pain, we tend to reach for the quickest fix, which will either remove it or at least help with it. And it works. That's why we become reliant on it. That's why we become addicted to it. This mental pain comes from experiences we've had in our past where our survival mind needed to kick in in order to keep us safe and protect us. It's literally the rules of how we work as human beings. There doesn't need to be logic of why it happened. It works normally as expected. Now, there are different levels of pain. For someone to use the thing that they're addicted to more often than not would strongly indicate that their mental state is a lot more painful, which is the sole reason why they reach for the thing that they're addicted to more than others would. So what's the best approach to be able to overcome an addiction? The first step would be to increase the understanding of what's actually going on. I like to use the example of having a headache. If you're continuously having a headache and you're using paracetamol to relieve that pain, if you were to stop having the paracetamol, that pain would come back. What we tend to do is concentrate on removing the thing that we're addicted to which is what's giving us relief from the pain. Now in this example, we're removing the paracetamol, but the pain or headache is still there. So now that we're not having paracetamol anymore, we might change it to having ibuprofen to relieve the pain. The meaning of this example is to highlight the fact that these are just satisfying the symptoms. It's not targeting the root cause of the pain. Yes, you should always work towards stopping having anything that isn't good for you, but only concentrating on that isn't how to resolve the addiction. The way we resolve it is finding out what the root cause of the pain is. What is making us have the headache that we're taking the paracetamol for in the first place? Once we find out what that is, then we can tackle it from the root cause. Maybe we discover that the reason we're having these headaches is because we're dehydrated. So figuring out what the cause was, now we know what we need to do in order to help it, which is drink more water. And now because we're more hydrated, we don't have the desire or need to have the paracetamol as the pain or headache has now gone. The sole focus cannot be just on the thing that we're addicted to. To find out where this mental pain is coming from, you need to explore your mental state, explore your mind. Start speaking to a professional, someone that can help you figure out the root cause of this pain. All addiction happens because of a person's mental health. This is how every human being functions. We're all addicted to something in our lives. No one is the exception. It's just some people need more painkillers as their pain is worse right now. It's okay to function like a normal human being. If you fell out of a tree and broke your legs, you wouldn't judge yourself for not being able to walk. That's physical trauma. Addiction is mental trauma. So don't judge yourself for falling out of the mental tree. Just like your legs wouldn't heal themselves without attention, your mind won't heal itself without attention either. There is no shame in what you're going through. No one in this world is the exception. No matter what place you're in or how bad things are, there is always a way out and you can get out of it.